All right, welcome back everybody to No Review Playthrough. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and do Sleeve Up Marvel Dice Throne version. Um, saw the previous video I was doing the Season 1. We're going to go ahead and just do the Marvel version today and give you an idea of what these look like and see if there's something you might want to pick up for yourself. So I'm not going to do a whole lot more talking than I did on the other video. So the other video I kind of go through a little bit about what I expected from the sleeves and whatnot. And today we're mostly just going to go straight through and sleeve these up. So if you want to follow along, great. I'll stop every once in a while and kind of show you what these look like and so forth. Maybe this video will be a little bit better prepared than the other one. A little bit more of what I want to say and do this time. A little bit better planned or outlined for the video instead of just live streaming it and just going from there. So my previous video, like I said, these are touted as premium sleeves. They feel very much like Fantasy Flight art sleeves. That could be good, it could be bad. I've had some bad problems or I've had problems in the past with the Fantasy, not, yeah, the Fantasy Flight art sleeves because they kind of chip on the sides. As you shuffle them, um, you can see these are already white. And I've had the art kind of peel off and stuff. So uh, I haven't really found anybody online that says whether how good these are or how bad these are or whatnot. Um, a lot of people have them. I just haven't really found anything that says how well they last. But we will see. So we're going to go ahead and start, I guess, here with Black Widow. And... Uh, I did mention yesterday that it is kind of cool that the artwork is different than the artwork on the player boards and so forth. So the artist came up with brand new artwork for this, so that's kind of cool. All right, here we go. Black Widow. All right, there we go. Black Widow all done. And give it a quick shuffle. Pretty, pretty good. Actually, for some reason, these sound, not sound, pff, these feel a little bit smoother than the season one did yesterday, to be honest. They're pushing together a little bit smoother. But shuffle feel is not the most important thing necessary with this type of stuff. You can always just do pile shuffles or do some other things with that. So these, for some reason, these kind of push together a little bit smoother than they did yesterday. All right, so there's Black Widow. One of eight Marvels done. I really have to say, I have been enjoying the Marvel a lot. Uh, my little club at school, we've been playing the Marvel versions a lot, and I really have enjoyed it. I was little nervous if I would like them or not considering that I thought they were just gonna be reskins of the others and do I really need them so last year when I was when this came out I was really debating whether I was gonna get it or not because I wasn't quite sure if it was just gonna be reskinned and then some of the previews and stuff and I just thought ah, it's one of our favorite games I've got to get it and I really have enjoyed these Marvel characters Doctor Strange is one of my favorite Black Widow's pretty good Loki and Thor are pretty good as well. Um, I mean, they're all good, but uh, those are some of my favorites. All right, so we've got Doctor Strange here. His pack. I right, got a nice, again, the different artwork on those two. Pretty cool looking. Okay, let's get his cards. This is mythic card and his spell card that I like to keep on top because that starts the game there. All right, I think I need some tunes yesterday to entertain myself. Listen to the new God Smack. Not bad. It's very God Smacky if you know what I mean. I'd like to listen to the new Extreme album, but they don't have all of theirs. I'm gonna listen to the crap out of the new Metallica, of course. Uh. Yeah, let's just let's just roll some. Trying to keep it. I'm just gonna fast forward so you won't hear it anyways. All 
All right, Doctor Strange, all done. These feel a little slicker than yesterday. It's almost, it feels almost like there's two separate companies that made these. Maybe because these are newer. Maybe those season one and season two sleeves have been around for a while. And these are brand new. Maybe it's a slightly different. Maybe it's, I don't know. These do feel a little bit different than the others. Oh, uh, we'll see. All right. Doctor Strange is all done. Just waiting for the BBG tokens to be to upgrade this. Getting the nice plastic tokens. All right, Strange is done. All right, we got Black Panther. I don't know if I haven't I haven't played Black Panther yet. Some of my kids at school really like them. Kinetic energy technique or mechanic. I kind of think that's pretty cool. It builds up and then explodes out. All right, Black Panther, where are you? There we go. Ooh, those look nice. I like that. It's a nice look. All right, here we go. I just have to stop here for a second, man. I haven't played Black Panther, so I haven't seen his cards very often. But just leaving these, look at that. Look at the artwork. How cool that is. The color. I really like purples. They're my favorite. One of my favorite colors. But man, just doesn't that look cool? That artwork is just awesome. I'm just so glad they did all this extra artwork for this Marvel version. All right, back to it. Yeah, you can see sleeving these up. These are definitely a little slicker than the others. I think this is either a different batch or they did a different formula or a different company. I can tell these are a little bit different than the season ones that I've already done. Not necessarily in a bad way. They do shuffle a little smoother though because of that. And I know I've done sleeving long enough to know that that gloss kind of wears off and they do kind of settle in. Oh. I just like that. That looks cool. The black, purple. Just play Black Panther for his cards and the art. The only problem is I'm going to have a big bag or a box or something with just all the extra sleeves in it. But small problem to have. Alright, Captain Marvel. I have not played Captain Marvel yet either. So I'm not sure how she ranks up with some of the others, but mostly because I've been playing a lot of the others and just getting comfortable with them. She hasn't one I haven't played yet. Okay. Let's get her sleeves again. Much more action packed than her player board. All right, here we go. All right, Marvel's done. As always, give it a quick shuffle. See what we got there. Just bright, wonderful colors, cool. Lots of cool artwork. Again, the artist did a very good job matching his previous work from the previous Dice Thrones and making it, even though they're completely different types of characters, making it feel like one big universe still, even though they're Marvel. <coughs> All right, half done with this box. I think I've spent half my adult life sleeving cards and games. Re-sleeving, moving cards, moving sleeves. Alright, Spider-Man. There's 
There's this card there. Spider-Man is pretty fun. I like his combo. You can have the chance to possibly attack twice. Eh, kind of neutral on that one. What's it compared to as it's got? Yeah, I kind of like that pose better. That's all right. All right, here we go. Yep, these are definitely a little slicker. You can see as I'm sh sleeving them, the piles separate a little bit more. If you didn't see my other video, they didn't quite do that nearly as much, but I think that will go away fairly soon. The only thing I'm concerned about, I know I've said it a bunch of times, is I hope the artwork stays stays on there. Again, these feel very much like fantasy flight artwork sleeves. And I've just stopped giving, I gave up on those after about two or three packs doing the same thing. I think I bought some Star Wars ones for Star Wars Destiny. And they just did not work, and so I gave up on those pretty quick. So I'm hoping that these are not like this. I will definitely do an update if things like that happen because again these are supposed to be premium sleeves and the last thing I'd want people to do is buy these or me even is to buy these and then have them fall apart within six months or a year or something like that all right spider-man you are done oops hit the microphone there All right, Scarlet Witch. I've played Scarlet Witch a couple times. She's a little confusing with her crackle ability. Yeah, the crackle thing and the token thing is a little tricky. So I played her once or twice, and I kind of didn't like that too much and kind of gave up, and I know I shouldn't do that. I just need to try it again. So let's see. Oh, she's, these, sleeves are, these sleeves are amazing. That looks awesome. That is way cool. Other than purple, I like black and red combo. Black and purple, black and red. I like those combos a lot. Just in general. All right, here we go. Uh, as I was sleeping these up, I was trying to think of the one or two playthroughs I did. There's one there's one ability that she had, or maybe it was a card or something, where you actually give your dice, one of your dice, to your opponent. So basically, they can still use the numbers, but they can't use any of the symbols. So they're basically forced to have to do, like, straights. It's a pretty cool little thing. Yeah, the reality warp. A player infected with this token, when they begin their offensive, must remove it and use one of the Scarlet Witch's dice in place of their own until the end of the offensive roll phase. I just thought that was kind of cool, that it basically shuts down all their abilities, pretty much, except for straights, because uh, her symbols obviously won't match anything on their playboard. Unless for some reason you have Witch versus Witch. A couple of my kids have bought their own. I, like I said, I've run a little club. And we, we've played this game, and some of the kids have bought in the two-character boxes, so sometimes they'll bring those. So some of my kids have had those. So that we did do a Loki versus Loki once. That was pretty cool. All right, Scarlet Witch, you are done. Let's get her sleeves back in here. And again, the extra sleeves are basically for Dice Throne Adventures. Obviously, if you rip some or tear some, I guess because uh, they give you 50 sleeves and Dice Throne Adventures allows you to upgrade your deck up to 50. So they give you the perfect amount for that. I don't think, there's no really no way to put the extra sleeves back in the box, so I'm just going to find a Ziploc and put those. Alright, Loki. Loki is a pretty fun character to play with, especially with these three cards here. When you're attacked, if you have the Illusion token, you can spend it, and then you shuffle these up. Success, fail, or half damage. Shuffle those up, and then your opponent has to pick one, and then depending on, obviously, what they get. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. And you can shut down their abilities with his spells. Spell binding. 
So let's see. Do I want to sleeve these or leave these? I mean, if I sleeve them, they could kind of get mixed up, but if, I mean, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Yeah, we'll go ahead and sleeve, sleeve all of those. All right. With the artwork. Oh, let's open this up and see the art, artwork on these. Yeah, that's pretty sinister looking for Loki. All right, here we go. Okay, another one done. As usual, let's give it a quick little shuffle. Shuffling car is very therapeutic, very relaxing. Yeah, so for now, we'll keep these in the little sleeves. Obviously, if we were playing Dice Throne Adventure, if I needed them, then I'd have to pull those out. But we've actually only played through it once. Maybe this summer we'll play with through the Marvel version. <clears throat> All right. And finally, we have Thor. So before I open this one up... Um, I was always joking that Thor has uh, the Mjolnir hammer as a big cardboard token. And as I was playing this a couple weeks ago with kids, I'd like, oh yeah, because I've, se I've seen uh, little Thor metal keychains and stuff. And I said, that'd be pretty cool to swap out. So yeah, one of my kids for teacher appreciation says he saw that at Hobby Lobby after we had talked about it. And he says, oh yeah, I saw this in the little uh, grab and go or whatever the the uh, impulse items right before the checkout and he's like so he bought this for me for teacher appreciation for like I think he said it was five or seven bucks or something like that so barely fits in the box but it does fit in there so pretty cool little thing again little silly extra stuff uh, for playing the game with but yeah it's, it's what we do right all right last one These are definitely slicker. I like that electric blue light. That looks nice. Much brighter than the player board. All right. Well, we are done with this for today. And tomorrow we'll just go back to season two and finish out that box of characters. And again, start playing with these. And again, hopefully they will last. Didn't, did cost me about $150 with shipping to get all three box worth, basically. So I hope that I didn't waste my money on that. So if I did, then that will hopefully save you guys some money in the future. But definitely makes that nice. Now the problem is, is I had to get all those over there because of the meal there over here. That raises that up quite a bit with the sleeves. That's the only problem of having cool stuff like this. Uh, I mean, I could put me only on my board game shelf, and I do travel occasionally with it. Like I said, to school. Because those make it pretty. I don't know if I can get that all in without it being a pain. Without lifting it up, can I still fit the lid on? Strap out of the way. Yeah. It'll be okay. It's gonna it's gonna sit in the, in the box anyways. All right. So that's another one done. Hopefully they find this video helpful for your future purchases. That's one of the reasons why. If I get these types of things, I try and show them off and go into detail a little bit so that uh, other people that are interested in getting this know exactly what they're getting into. And if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.